Hey guys, Tim Church here with video number two of our little mini series called Unify for Newbies. Now, if you're new to my content or you just stumbled upon this video, what I've done is, is I've put together eight videos, each outlining a part of the process to put together a really great Unify network, configure a Unify network, and a Unify camera system. Now, the goal here is to help anybody who is new to the Ubiquiti EcoSpace get started with a great network. It's, this video series is not designed for someone who is already familiar with the products. It's really geared towards a newbie. What I hope to help you guys with is to teach you that Ubiquiti makes a great option for any home network and you don't have to be scared of it. So in video number one, we actually talked about who a Ubiquiti network is for, the components that make up a Ubiquiti network, and how they're all generally connected together so you can even see if this is the right way to go for you. Also, in that video, I made some general recommendations as to equipment that I've used in the past and that I really like um, to sort of get you started. Now, today's video is gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna focus on how to do the research and we're gonna be doing that on the Ubiquiti website or the Ubiquiti store. This is how to, where we go to look up all the specs on the equipment, how much the equipment's gonna cost because that is obviously a very important part of this process. And I'm even gonna show you how to deal with things when it's out of stock and how to get notified automatically when it's back in stock so you can quickly go out there and buy it at that time. But then after that, we're gonna get into sort of the fun stuff, guys. We're gonna actually configure this equipment. I'm gonna diagram everything for you and take it very slow and step by step. We're gonna create some VLANs and some Wi-Fi networks. We're gonna talk about firewall rules, how to secure your network in a very easy to follow fashion and we're gonna use a blueprint that really can be used in just about any network out there. And I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to get those firewall rules in your system. And then we're gonna talk about guest networks and how to put that together and what Ubiquiti offers in that arena. Then we're gonna to get to the cameras, how to get them online and how to set up your system. So lots of content to cover in these eight videos, but I think it's gonna be very valuable to anybody just getting their foot in the door. So if that interests you guys, Let's go ahead and get started and head over to the Ubiquity store. Okay, so for the URL for the store is store.ui.com, okay? And there's a couple things you might notice right away. One, Ubiquity is a little bit flashy, and I think a lot of that comes from their roots. They have an Apple background, like the, the people who used to create the wireless equipment for Apple actually branched off and started Ubiquity. So, you know, if anybody's ever used Apple products, you know they're, they're focused on packaging and flashy websites and illustrations and things. So you're gonna see a lot of that in the Ubiquity website, which I think is pretty cool. It makes it seem like it's, you know, nice equipment and it, and it really is. So I think they've done a good job of packaging the website in order to do that. The other thing you might notice is that they also dip their toes in a lot of different areas outside of what we're gonna be talking about, right? You have door access for businesses, there's manufacturer like MSP, gateways and cloud keys that you can do. There's some power tech. They have voice over IP phone systems. Um, they have point-to-point -point bridges, so beaming your network through the airwaves from one location to another. They do all of that stuff, and all of that can be ordered right from this website. So um, the area we're going to be focused on is this kind of top left section of the menu, unified cloud gateway, switching Wi-Fi and camera as part of this mini-series. That's what we're going to be focused on. But I wanted to just point out that those are things you might notice. Now, if you guys have made up your mind and you have decided that you are going to use Ubiquity, it's just a matter of what you're going to buy and you're really starting to piece this thing together, okay? The first thing I'm going to have you guys go over do is click on the little icon over here and sign up for a free account. It's just gonna ask you for some general basic information, some things I'll call out here, guys. Don't use a bogus email address, okay? This is gonna be a login that you use a lot with Ubiquity. Ubiquity uses single sign-on, so what you use to log in to order your equipment is the same email address and login that you're gonna use to sign into your equipment, to sign into the app, to manage your controller, to just do all of that. And so I would recommend not using some kind of bogus email. They're not going to bombard you with a bunch of salesy crap. You can sign up for their newsletter or periodic things if you'd like to, but you, it's a checkbox. If you don't check that, they're not going to bombard you with some stuff. So um, I recommend using something um, that you know how to log into. If you ever had to reset a password, you can actually do that because you have access to that email account. Secondly, also they're going to start enforcing multi-factor authentication. So Ubiquity uh, really does care about the protecting their 
their users. And so they're enforcing that you have a Ubiquity multi-factor authentication app on your phone. Um, and so basically when you go to log in, you're gonna get prompted on your phone and it's just basically gonna say, yes, this is me. You say, yep, and then it'll log you into the website. That's gonna help secure your account so nobody else has access to your network, your equipment, your credit card information, all that, all that, okay? So very important, that's gonna be part of the sign up process and something you guys should look at doing. All right, now I wanna focus on how to get around. So really there's a couple important things that I, I, I think are, are pertinent to how to find information on this as you guys start doing your research. And yes, there's gonna be some research. So our unified cloud gateways, these are all devices that have the controller software built into them Anybody who's a newbie, I think this is the route you need to go. And they have a couple different options from clear down to 140, uh, actually $129 on up to, you know, more expensive, $599. But these devices also do a lot of different things. And I actually will have some videos where I highlight how to choose a router, how to choose a switch, how to choose an access point, and look at getting started with Unify Protect. Links in the description, so I can't take a deep dive in this video. This is just a video to highlight how to find the information. If you want a more detailed video on how to choose which one is best for you, I recommend checking out those links in the description, okay? This is really just to go find the information and put together pricing, because you'll notice they put their prices right out there for everybody to see so you can start budgeting this thing and figure out what it's gonna cost, and I really like that. So this is where you go to find their gateways. Switches are gonna be in here. Now, you might notice they have a ton of switches. A lot of these are built for business, businesses and not, are gonna be a little bit more than what you'd ever need for your home. So one of the things I wanna call out is your ability to filter. So as you get into a certain area like switches or access points or even cameras, you can start filtering your results. So as you start doing your research and let's say you, you're gonna need less than 24 ports, you're gonna need PoE Plus, and you don't care about any of the other stuff there, okay? You don't care about outdoor. Now you can click in here and now you're looking at a much smaller list that you can start clicking into and seeing if it's gonna be the right fit for you. You're like, oh, I like the price point of that one. Let's go in and take a look at it. As you click into a product, you're gonna see there's a little summary page right here. A lot of the important information you need is right here. Like this is telling me that this switch is $199 it has 45 watts of total power. That's what its, it's um, power budget or the total capacity of power this can deliver with PoE. Eight of the ports are gigabit PoE plus ports and then eight are just standard gigabit. So of your 16 ports, only eight of them are providing power and I talked about that in other videos. Um, it is wall mountable, lots of cool stuff like that. And then up here is like a little menu that you can kind of click between two or three. If you're trying to compare a couple, you can kind of click back and forth. If you need more inf important information, at the bottom of every one of the product pages is technical specifications. And this is where it's really gonna dive in and take a much deeper dive. Now, the one thing I'll point out with switches is you want to make sure you take into account your total PoE budget. Now, power of our ethernet is really important as it's gonna power your cameras and it's also gonna power your access points, okay? So when you're putting together this network, you kinda need to do some math here and decide how powerful a switch are you gonna need. This switch right here is called the 16 port light PoE. It's really not designed to do a lot of power. That's why the budget is only 45 watts. And I know you're new to this, so you don't know if 45 watts is a lot or a little, but it's actually a lower amount. The 24 port switch, standard switch is 95. Most of the ether lighting switches are 400 plus. I mean, you can get really big with the power budgets, but also the price goes up. So you're gonna wanna do a little bit of math as to how much power you're really gonna need to do your project. And that's part of the research. This is just to find out and narrow down those switches for you or, or access points or whatever to, and how to find that information. So if we click over into Wi-Fi, for example, you'll see we have filtering as well. And we can filter on Wi-Fi 7, Wi-Fi 6. Do we care if it has six gigahertz on it, which is part of the Wi-Fi 7, Wi-Fi 6E um, generational Wi-Fi? You can even look to see if something is in stock. So if you're interested in Wi-Fi 7 and you're curious about the pricing of it, you can just go ahead and click that and it's gonna show you all of their Wi-Fi 7 devices and you can get their pricing, what's sold out, and then click into them from there. 
Now, one thing I will point out with access points, power is um, really important. And I've, I'll probably, you'll probably hear this highlighted throughout most of the series because I'll talk about it a lot. I want to make sure this point hits home. So Ubiquity specifically, these access points, your cameras or whatever that are PoE, they need, they need to match the switch port they're plugged into. And what do I mean by that? So if I click into this U7 Pro here, for example, you can see this is powered with PoE+. Plus. Now, PoE, there's standard PoE, there's PoE+, plus, there's PoE++, plus plus, there's just, and what that means is how much that single port on that switch can deliver to whatever's plugged into it. So PoE has a lower, but a lower power amount, PoE plus steps up and, and it can give up to 30 watts of power or more power. And then PoE plus plus can even do more than that. So again, this access point specifically requires PoE plus. So when you're over here shopping for switches, you need to make sure you filter and say, I need PoE plus power. And now all of these switches in here are gonna be showing you that. Now, a majority of their switches are PoE+. Plus. The, the older switches that they used to do were PoE. So um, I guess if really this would come into a play as if you're maybe buying a switch. Maybe you found one in eBay and you like it. I get a lot of, I get a lot of questions about that. Um, that's one thing. Um, just make sure that if the, P, if the access point you're buying requires PoE+, Plus, that your switch port offers PoE+. Plus. On one port, two ports, ten of them, whatever, but it needs to be able to plug into that port. Otherwise, your access point, if it draws juice beyond what it can be delivered, it'll actually shut down. Now, where that'll come in play a little bit is your unified cloud gateways. Now, I've had a lot of people put together systems where they really didn't need a switch. They just had a couple access points, they wanted their router, and they had a couple cameras. Well, if you buy the, spe the UDM SE or special edition, this device actually has PoE on board. This is a little eight port switch right here, and it actually has PoE on board. However, if you read, it says two of the ports are PoE and six, or excuse me, two are PoE plus and six are standard PoE. Many of the cameras we'll look at are going to require standard PoE ports. So this switch will allow you to plug in two PoE plus access ports plus six additional uh, cameras that are not PoE plus required. So we'll get into cameras here in just a second. So, you know, let's just say you didn't want to buy a switch. Your network's going to be really small. Most of your stuff is going to be Wi-Fi. So you're just wanting a couple access points and some cameras. You could get away with just buying this device right here and it'll do everything. It's got a hard drive area for your hard drive. It can be your camera in VR. It can be your switch. It can be your gateway. And it's capable of doing 10 gig up to 10 gig internet, which is kind of cool. So lots of stuff going on, but just as you start piecing together your needs, you know, this is where you would go to find that information. And that's the important stuff. Okay. So quickly, let's look over into cameras. Um, like I mentioned in my camera video, there's basically three flavors of camera. There's 4k, which is going to be the pro cameras. There's 2k, which is just going to be their general, you know, bullet cameras or G5 dome cameras. Those are 2k devices. And then they have a couple HD, like I think their doorbell is just an HD device. Um, and they do have a video recorder. So if you are doing a more robust network, uh, for cameras and let's say you're going to have 12 15 cameras in your compound or just putting all this together you guys might want to look at uh using a video recorder and again i, I put a link in the description on where i kind of talk about how that's important how to price it together and everything okay and and so that video is dedicated to that but you can filter things down say i just want to look at 2k cameras and kind of look at the price points now this G5 Bullet for 129 bucks is actually a very great camera for a really affordable price. Very, very good. Same thing with this G5 Turret Ultra. Awesome camera, very small. It's about the size of a tennis ball and 129 bucks. Awesome quality. Um, these are just great devices. So Ubiquity has a lot of camera options out there for you, including a doorbell. And they have a couple different options here. You can do a Wi-Fi doorbell. Um, if, if you uh, don't have cabling where your doorbell's at, as far as like ethernet cabling, or you could just do, or you could do, and that'd be like a Wi-Fi. Or if you've pulled cable, maybe you're building a house and you're planning on pulling a Ethernet wire to your doorbell, you can actually do that here and just order that one. So lots of different options, lots of stuff here, guys. So this is where you would go to look around and spec things out. Remember that as you click into each device, 
At the bottom is gonna be where the specifications are. There's installation guides for everything out here. So it'll tell you what you need, what parts you need. It really does a good job of breaking everything down, whether you're installing in a rack, or maybe you're sitting on a shelf, how to install the hard drive, how to connect it, all that stuff. And some of these actually have a little bit better um, setups than others in that they will even show you a little video on how to install um, the equipment, which is really cool too. So very, very nice. That's where you're gonna go to get the information. Now, as promised, I wanted to talk to you guys real quick about what do you do if something's not in stock? So like I mentioned that G5 turret camera, uh, wherever it's at. Oh, it's down here a little further. That's right, I was sorting in the page last time, right here. So G5 turret ultra. This is a great little camera, sold out as you can see. Now, if I click into that camera, it's telling me I need PoE. All right, so I know that. It's got night vision. It's a 2K 4 megapixel camera, wide viewing lens, weatherproof for outdoor exposure. I mean, you're getting a lot of the information you need from this camera right here. Um, gives you a nice little view of it. Gives you a nice little illustration about the size of it, different mounting options, all sorts of things. Um, and if I go down here to my power requirements, you're gonna see that this is, its max power is four watts. So that's kind of what I was talking about with doing the math, right? Let's, you, let's say your switch has 45 watts of total power. The max capacity of this is four watts, which generally will use about half that, so two watts. Now you get 10 of them, right? Now you gotta start doing some math. So that's, this is where you would go to find that information as you start putting together your specs, um, which is really cool. But how, if you see right here, it says log in to get alerts when stuff comes back in stock. So the simple way to do that, and I'm not gonna do it because it's gonna pull up all my logins and I don't wanna have to blur all that out, but you would just use the login that you that you created a little bit ago, hit login, and you can put, a, that will be replaced with a checkbox and you can check and say, let me know when this is back in stock and you'll get an email notification when it is, it's very clear and then Guys, I'd recommend when you get the email notification, don't wait, head over there because some of these devices sell out very, very fast within a day or so. So that's how to deal with the out of stock thing. And that works on any of the devices, anything you click on. If you come down here and let's find one that's out of stock, I think the outdoor one. So like this one right here is out of stock, this one is. So if I click on that right here, log in and it'll subscribe to back in stock emails. Very, very effective way to know when stuff is in stock. You might have to kind of buy it in pieces and that's okay. Um, usually these projects are, are put together over time. Almost everybody I work with puts these together over time. So uh, just something to kind of, kind of consider. All right, guys, so that is gonna wrap up the Unify Store video. I hope you guys found it helpful. The quick takeaway that I just wanna say is as you start um, shopping for access points, shopping for cameras and switches specifically, make sure that your PoE budget and your PoE port um, match whatever equipment is going to plug in. You're gonna run into problems if, for, for example, if you're buying a PoE switch and trying to plug in an access point that requires PoE Plus. Those things don't really line up and they're, they're something that can really set back your project. The goal here by showing you around is how to look up the information and where to find it and how to narrow down your results in hopes that you are picking out the right products for you at the budget that's gonna work for you. So hopefully you found that helpful. Now, the next video we're gonna do is getting a little bit more into the fun stuff, guys. I'm gonna diagram out what our network is going to look like. I'm gonna show you exactly how it's physically connected together in a diagram, and then we're gonna actually do it. We're gonna physically connect those devices. I'm gonna show you how it's laid out, show you how I have the stuff um, connected together, give you a, little, a few tips and tricks along the way as far as cabling and things of that nature. And then we're gonna go ahead and fire these up and config, get a basic config laid down. I'm gonna show you two different ways to do it. We're gonna set it up with your smartphone and with a laptop so you guys can kind of decide which way is easiest or best for you. Don't forget that Ubiquity login because that's gonna come into play. So I hope you found this helpful, guys. Please uh, tune into the rest of the series. If you have questions, leave them in the comments. I'll do my very, very best to try and get those answered for you. And we'll see you guys in a future video.